So we're testing a class one appliance. Of course, a class one appliance is one that does not have the class two double insulated square within inside a square symbol on its nameplate. First test you go about is the visual test. The visual test is very important and it's a test where we're not using any instruments. So let's have a little look here at the typical class one appliance. So this is a pop-up toaster, metal cased. It is protected with a protective earth conductor from the earth pin on the plug to the case of the appliance. Visually, I start at the plug. I look carefully for looseness, discoloration of the fins on the plug. Then looking at the body of the plug to see if there's any damage or any signs of uh, excess wear. Then take real care to note the cord grip on the plug, making sure that the sheath of the flexible cord is well anchored. Then looking down the length of the flexible cord for any abrasions, cuts or openings in the sheath which exposes the basic insulation uh, that would be an issue. Once I've got that examined, I then look at the entrance to the appliance and examine the cord grip here to make sure that it is secure and that the flexible cord hasn't pulled back, exposing the basic insulation. This is a nameplate on this particular appliance. And it is a class one appliance, of course. Then I have a good look at the case of the appliance, noting to see if there's any missing covers, any missing guards, anything which would allow for accidental contact with life parts. So that is the visual inspection of the Class 1 appliance. Once that's been carried out, we then move on to the resistance measurement of the protective earth conductor. This is done using an ohmmeter on the low ohms range. The maximum resistance permitted by the EWRB on this training record form for single phase appliance testing and inspection is one ohm. No more than one ohm is permitted from the earth pin on the plug to the metal casing on the class one appliance. If that resistance is exceeded, uh, then the appliance is not safe and will fail the test. Typically the resistance we'll measure will be about 0.1 of an ohm. The next test we go on to is the insulation resistance test. For this particular appliance, because it's not an MIMS element, the minimum insulation resistance test is 1 meg ohm. This is done using the insulation resistance tester and the voltage, 500 volts, DC, of course, because we're measuring the resistance of the insulation. That is done quite simply by connecting the phase neutral together at the plug here, so these two terminals here, and then to earth. The next test we go on to is more about diagnostics than the safety of the appliance. Here's the formula for calculating the resistance of the appliance using the voltage squared over the power in watts. I've just put a small example here as well. So this is about looking to see, does the appliance actually measure up and that the elements of this particular toaster uh, measure to the calculated value on the nameplate. That gives us an idea in diagnostics if, if we have a open circuited element or short circuited element. So there is a, a quick overview of the basics of testing a class one appliance. You'll need to have a low ohms reading multimeter, an insulation resistance tester, your class one appliance. This EWRB test form can be downloaded from the EWRB website and following these steps. First of all, visual, followed by the resistance of the protective earth conductor, followed by the insulation resistance, and then move on to the diagnostics. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you a little bit later on.